Okay, when it comes to practical math, probably nothing's more important than understanding this symbol here. And of course, we are talking about percent. You simply can't uh, look at your cell phone, read the newspaper, watch TV without seeing this symbol everywhere. Um, you know, we're talking about inflation, mortgage rates, uh, something, you know, your credit card percentage rates are going up. Something's on sale. This percent symbol is associated with it. So it really does pay off to understand a lot about percent. And most people, I think, uh, can do basic percent problems, and that's, you know, good. And I'm talking about things like, what's 6% of, oh, I don't know, 70? Okay, most people can get out their calculator and do this pretty confidently. But when it comes to a problem like this, things get a little bit more interesting. So let's take a look at this problem. 130% of what number is 70? So this is, of course, going to be the topic of this video. How do you solve uh, a problem like this? Well, I want to uh, preface um, this by saying how I'm going to solve the problem. I'm not going to try to sell you on this uh, approach, okay? I'm going to recommend it, actually. But what I, I guess what I'm trying to say, and I want to make this very clear, uh, there's a couple of different ways you could have learned percent way back in your high school days, middle school days, whatever the case might have been. So as long as you know how to work with percent and get answers confidently, correctly, that's what really make, uh, makes a difference. So if you don't like the way I'm gonna do this prom and you get the same answer and you're correct, well then stick with your method. So again, I'm not gonna try to sell you on a different technique. However, if you're confused about how to do percent problems like this, then I wanna suggest that you follow the way I'm going to approach doing this. Um, but we're gonna to get to all this in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and if you're struggling in math, please don't give up. I'm telling you right now, there is no such thing as a bad math student. What you need is great math instruction to learn mathematics, and that looks like um, clear instruction, understandable, and comprehensive, okay? Not little quick, short tutorials, truly comprehensive, where you can understand the little, you know, all the little steps that go into how to solve a math problem. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, Check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will help you out. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test with the math section, there's a ton of them out there. Things like the ASVAB, GED, SAT, ACT, maybe a teacher certification exam. Um, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, I have excellent middle and high school math courses for homeschoolers. I've gotten a lot of great reviews over the years. If you need a um, set of math notes, check out my math notes. I'm going to leave links uh, to my notes in the description of this video as well. You need to be taking great math notes if you want to be successful in mathematics. Uh, this is definitely a must. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps me out as well. All right, so let's get into this. 130% of what number is 70? Please feel free to use a calculator. Never feel bad about using a calculator. Just remember a calculator is a tool, okay? This is not going to solve the problem for you. You have to be able to communicate with your calculator in order to get the right answer out. But um, what's uh, different about this problem is that we're dealing with a percent that's greater than 100, okay? And I think conceptually, this kind of messes up a lot of people, but let's just kind of quickly review this. So let's take a look at this little bar graph here and let's go from zero to 100 okay zero to 100 let's say this is 100 uh, centimeters high or whatever you want to think of this if i said find 27 percent of something went from zero to 100 uh what would 27 percent of 100 be okay hopefully you said well that's like 27 right so if you had a hundred dollars and you wanted to know what 27% of that $100 was, it would be $27. Now, what you could do is you could say, okay, I'm gonna find 27% of 100. So how do you find a percent of a number? Well, what you do is you take that percent, so in this case, it's 27.0%, and you move the decimal point two places to the left, right? So that's gonna be equal to 0.27. So you're gonna take the decimal equivalent of that percent, okay, so you're gonna go from percent to a decimal by moving the decimal point two places to the left. By the way, that's the same thing as dividing 
the number by 100. Okay, when you divide 8% by 100, you're moving a decimal point two places left, and then you're going to get the decimal equivalent. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the decimal version of the percent, in this case it's 0.27, and you multiply by the, the whole. Okay, so here the uh, we're trying to find 27% of this whole 100. So 0.27 times 100 is 27. Now, that's like pretty redundant, but let's just make sure we understand kind of the big picture of what's going on with percent. Now, let's take a look at 130%. So let's find 130% of 100 right here. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, uh, let's just kind of look at our little bar graph here. So here's 50%. Right, and this would be like 75%, and then here's like 99%, and here's 100%. So what's 100% of 100? Okay, now I'm going for 130%, but what's 100% of 100? Well, hopefully it's like, you kind of think of this as a gas tank. We're going to fill this whole thing up. So 100% of 100 is 100, okay? So we want 130%, so we're not done yet. We got 100%, so let's add on 30%. So what's 30% of 100? Well, 30% of 100, you can see here, is going to be 30. Of course, we can go 0 0.30 times 100, but we can kind of see from this example here that 30% of 100 is 30. So 130%, this 100% plus 30%, this gives us our 130% is going to be equal to 130, okay? So conceptually, I think when uh, people are working with percents greater than 100, this gets them, you know, they get a little confused about this, right? So this is what this means, okay? We have to kind of fill up the gas tank and then continue to go on, all right? So there are going to be situations where you're going to be working with percent over 100. Don't let it be, you know, uh, don't let it confuse you. That's why I wanted to take the time to kind of review this. So let's go ahead and tackle this problem. And again, if you don't know how to work with percent, I'm a big believer in uh, using basic algebra to uh, set up nice little small equations to solve percent problems. So let's go ahead and see how I'm going to do this here. All right, so 130% of what number is 70? That is the question. So remember, what we're going to do when we're solving percent problems, you're going to change a percent into a decimal. So 130% is the same thing as 130. If you're wondering where the uh, decimal point is at, it's at, always at the end of the number, right? So 130.0%. So if I move the decimal point two places to the left, I'm going to get 1.3. Okay, so 130% is uh, the same thing as 1.3 is a decimal. So 130% of what number? So in algebra, when you uh, see something like what number, we're looking for some number. Well, that's why we use a variable like x. This is just a placeholder represents some number or in this case, what number we're looking for, right? So we'll just use a variable x is when you see the word is in a sentence and you're interpreting this as a mathematical like equation. The word is is always the equal sign. So 130% of what number is or is equal to. So this is an equal sign. And of course, this is 70. So we'll write that 70 there. So how do we find a percent of a number again, right? So remember, if I was trying to find 27% 20, of 100, you convert this to a decimal. That's 0.27. And you multiply by the number, okay? So here, if I'm trying to find 130%, of what number? Well, I'm going to convert this to a decimal, 1.3, and I'm going to multiply by that number, okay? That's how I find the percent of that number. So in algebra, we're going to have 1.3 times x, okay? 1.3x is or is equal to 70, okay? So here is a nice equation that represents what's going on here. And now, simply, this comes down to your ability to um, solve an algebraic equation. Very, very simple. So 1.3x is equal to 70. How do I solve for x? Well, you need to divide both sides of the equation by 1.3. So 70 divided by 1.3, get your calculator out. You're going to get uh, 53.84. Now, I am rounding off. There are more digits here. So this is an approximation. So technically, this is not a perfect, perfect answer. So I'm kind of rounding off here the two decimal points. So... Um, our number is approximately 53.84. Okay, so that is the answer, all right? So let's go up here, 130% of 53, okay, what was that number again? 53.84 uh, 
is uh, 70. Now let's go ahead and check this, all right? We're, we're gonna do this two ways. 53.84, that's the answer. So um, 130%, right? So we're saying 130% of uh, this number, and this number that we just calculated was 53.84. So to calculate or to get 130%, we're gonna go from zero all the way up to 100% of that number. Of course, that number will be 53.84. So that's 100% right there. Now we need 30% more, right, to get to 130%. So what's 30% of 53.84? Well, 30% of 53.84, I could take that 0.3 and multiply by 53.84, but it's going to be 16.15, okay? All right, so if we add up the 100% and the 30%, you're gonna get 69.99, which is effectively 70. Okay, and then of course, let's review the problem here. 130% of what number? Of course, that was 53.84. Remember, this is um, a uh, estimation here because we did round off a bit, is we got 69.99, but effectively that is 70, so this is good, okay? Now, I'm breaking it out this way uh, just to kind of conceptually show you how to work with percents over 100. But now let's go ahead and check this more directly. If I wanted to um, verify that 130% of uh, 53.84, if I wanted to find the answer, remember I'm gonna take this percent and convert it to a decimal by moving uh, the decimal point two places to the left. So that's gonna be 1.3. And then I will multiply uh, by the number I'm trying to find a percent of. So 130% of 53.84 is 1.3 times 53.84. And guess what you get in your calculator? 69.99, which again, effectively is 70. So it checks out. But um, again, um, the big picture here, okay, is uh, percent problems like this can be confusing. Now, uh, by the way, I must, uh, I would be remiss if you got this problem correct and you were confident and you took a different approach. I don't care how you learned it way back in 1984, 1993, whenever you were in school, maybe that was 2019, doesn't make a difference. If you got this right, I must go ahead and give you a nice little lovely happy face and A++. Uh, let me give you a few stars here, and 100%, that's pretty awesome, okay? It means that you really have a good grasp on percent, much more than basic percent prompts. So stick with whatever uh, you know works for you, okay? So if you had a great math teacher way back in the day that taught you this, and you can do these prompts accurately and correctly, that's what makes a difference. However, if you're struggling with percent and you've been confused about percent, I'm gonna highly, highly recommend using the techniques that I showed you in this video, namely just set, constructing nice little basic um, algebra equations because that really shows your command of the percent, um, the concepts involved in percent. But hopefully this video helps you out. If that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you need more help with basic mathematics, I'm gonna suggest two things. One, I have a math foundations course. Of course, I go over percent and a lot of other basic arithmetic and kind of, um, uh, you know, middle school level, middle and elementary school level topics. So if you want a, that kind of a basic review, I would suggest my math foundations course. You can find that uh, by going to my math help program. Also, um, I would consider my pre-algebra course as well. Of course, I teach percent in my pre-algebra and algebra one uh, courses. And uh, I've done many other videos, YouTube videos on percent as well. So um, hopefully all that will be a resource for you. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.